welcome to a session with HTML and CSS. I had a follower that requested that I show you guys how to do these pretty icons that I posted on social media uh, yesterday, and I'm going to show you how to do that. You'll need a couple of icons, and I will go ahead and include those inside of the description for you. I am using Visual Studio Code, and this is just going to be simple HTML and CSS. So that's enough introduction. Let's get right into it. So we're going to open up a folder. I just created a empty folder on my desktop. So inside of VS Code, I'm going to go ahead and open that here. I called it pretty icons. Not sure what I should have called it, but that's what I did. Okay. And inside of here, I'm going to create a new file and we're going to have index.html. And then I'm going to do one more file called styles.css. Okay. And I'm just going to get my base code working. So I have some skeleton code, you can just say HTML5, and that should print out the skeleton code for you. Inside of my body, I'm just going to say, hello world, just to test it out. And I'm going to go ahead and run my live server. Live server is really cool. If you don't have that extension, you can go to extensions over here and type in live server, and this will update live for you. So whenever I change it, it just says, and again, so that is a really, really cool feature. So I'm just going to look at the image here and I'm going to kind of map it out and see what I want to have there, okay? So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six icons. I'm just going to create a page container. So I'm gonna say dot page container, which is a nice shortcut. I just hit enter and it creates a div with the class name page container for me. And I'm just going to lay out these icons. So I'm gonna say dot icon. I'm gonna say icon one, okay. And then I'm just gonna copy and paste this so that I have six of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, and six. So there's my icons right there. I'm just going to go ahead and start adding my styles so that it's all linked up over here. So I'll say link, and let's give it a reference to my styles here. So that will be styles.css, I believe. And let's just make sure that is actually communicating with my index.html. So I'm just gonna say page container and use my styles here. And I'm just gonna do something really obvious, just like a background color of red or something. And since that is obviously working, I can now go ahead and start centering each of these items here. So I'm gonna be using Flexbox. And I actually don't think I wanna use Flexbox. I think I wanna use Grid, because I've got three items on each row here. Yeah, let's do Grid instead. So I'm gonna say Display Grid, okay? And I'm gonna say Grid, template columns is asking how many columns I want and how much space I want that to take on my page. So I want to say I want one column, no, three columns. So one, two, three, there's three columns and each column is taking one fraction of the width of my page. Now you can see it's a little bit closer. Okay. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, four, five, six. Now I want to go ahead and center these items. In fact, I think we will do this a little bit differently. Let me say inside my page container, let's do another div to put all my icons inside of. So I'm gonna say dot icon container. Oops. There we go. And I'm just gonna stick all these icons inside of there. There we go. Hit save and I'll format my icons there. Perfect. Now inside of my styles, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna get my icon container. And I want my grid to be in there. So I'm gonna cut that out of there and do my icons. There we go. Uh, the reason I want to do this is because now I want to use the page container to use Flexbox so that this entire icon container is always going to be centered. So let's do display flex. Let's do justify content center. 
and then align items center. Okay, let's start styling these a little bit. Again, I want to bring in those images. So let's go ahead and add a folder. I'm gonna call this images. And I've got these icons already saved. Let me just drag and drop them. And I'm just gonna go ahead and rename these. And I'll go ahead and speed this up so that you guys don't have to watch me edit each one. Okay, welcome back. I just updated uh, each of these names to their appropriate icons and we can go ahead and start importing those into our HTML now. Now that we have all of our images inside of our images directory, then let's go ahead and import those into each of our icons down here, okay? In our HTML, so let's go to our HTML file. Let's just say IMG and hit enter. That's a nice little quick shortcut. And we're going to put in a source, so we need to put in a path to these images and then the specific image. So say dot slash, and autocomplete's gonna help me there. Now there's images. So select images, and now it's saying which one of those do you want? Well, our very first one, let's see, looks like it's gonna be Netlify. So let's say forward slash Netlify, and then your alt tag, we'll also call it Netlify, okay? And I'm just going to copy this and then paste it on each icon. And of course it is the same image for now, but we will change that in just a bit. Okay, so go ahead and do that. And if I am ever going too fast, you're welcome to slow down the video or hit pause whenever you need to. Okay, and let's go ahead and change this second image, which I have as Heroku, and then change the alt tag to Heroku. The alt tag is really good if the images don't show up for some reason, it will just say the text of Heroku or it's also really good for web scraping so that the coder can use the alt tag as an identifier. Uh, the third one is Bluehost, so Bluehost, Bluehost, and then this fourth one is Firebase, so Firebase, Firebase, and then GitHub, GitHub, Okay, then finally we have Hostinger. Or Hostinger, however you say it, okay? And this should all be in there. Some of these are really huge, okay? So let's go into our styles and let's select those images. So let's see, we called it icons. Okay, so each icon image. So let's do dot icon and we're gonna grab all the images, so IMG. And let's set a width, let's just see what 100 pixels will do. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. Um, maybe we need to do something more like 75 pixels. We are going to add, as something you can see, uh, these got Netlify, so it's got the name, and then it says whether it's free or if it costs money, uh, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and add those into our index.html. So under each image tag, let's do a P tag. And I'm just gonna say the name, so Netlify. And then underneath it, I'll do another P tag, and I'll say free. And I want to I want to style these all the same in each thing. So I'm going to give it this a class name. So class equals let's call this title. And then for this free right here, I'll do class equals let's just call this price. And I'm just going to copy and paste these in each of my icons now. And I want all these class names to be the same so that when I style them, I only have to style them once and it should work for all of them. Okay, so go ahead and change the titles now. So Heroku and Heroku was also free, so I'll keep that. 
And then next is blue host. So blue host and blue host was costing money. So I'll do a couple of dollar signs kind of indicating how expensive it is. And then we've got Firebase. Firebase, and then we have Firebase as free as well. And then GitHub, GitHub, GitHub is also free. And then we have Hostinger, so Hostinger, which costs some money. So we'll put a couple dollar signs in there. So go ahead and make sure that your output looks the same as mine so far. And now I'm going to head over to my styles to start to style these to look a little bit better. So inside of each icon, I'm gonna do dot icon, and I'm gonna grab the P tags. So all of them, I don't want to have any margin. So margin, zero pixels, so that they are a little bit closer to, to one another because that's how it is in the output, okay? And now I want to style the title. So I'm gonna say dot title. Okay, so dot title. I want this to be a little bit smaller. So let's see, let's do a font size. Let's see what 14 pixels looks like. I think that looks good. I noticed that these are also very thin. So we can thin it out by using font weight. So font weight, and let's try 400 at first. Okay, maybe 300. Okay, so I think about 200 will be good. And then I'm going to change the color of it. So color, it is some kind of black, so I'll just say black for right now. And then I'm going to just highlight this and make it a little more gray. Okay, so that's looking good. Now let's grab the prices. So dot price. We want some kind of orangish reddish color. So color, let's do orange or orange red, this is called. Okay, still a little bit too orange for me. Let me just uh, inspect this. This might be a little bit faster. So here's our color. And I'm just going to kind of uh, mess with this. I find something that I like. Okay, I think I like that. So I'm just going to copy this hexadecimal, come into my code and just paste it in. And let's hit refresh and that should all look a lot better now. Good, so let's start to make our icons into squares. So I'm gonna put my icon right here, so dot icon. And what I want to do for right now, I'm going to make a border. And I'll just say one pixel, a solid black. Uh, we we're going to get rid of this later, but just to help me see where my borders are, I'm going to do that. Okay. And I'm going to give this a border radius. And let's try 30 pixels and see what that looks like. Okay, not too bad. So I'm trying to get it to round off the edges, kind of like that. I think that is a good border radius, at least for now, uh, when we start to add more padding and different spacing inside of our icons, that will change. So we'll kind of mess with it later when it comes. Um, let's go to our icon and let's start to center these items. So let's come to icon and let's use some flex box. So I'm gonna say display flex. And I'm gonna say justify, or I gotta do flex direction. So flex direction, because uh, as you can see, a uh, flex box is by default putting everything in flex direction row. So I need to say flex direction column so that they're stacked on top of each other, okay? And now let's center those things. Uh, let's say justify content center, and then align items center and that is looking a lot better. Now I'm going to give, so if you remember that beautiful look here, okay? We got kind of a little bit of an off white uh, compared to the background. So we're going to change the background color just a little bit. So I'm gonna say background color. 
and I do want white, but we want some kind of off-white. So we're just gonna come into here and change it to a slightly different white, just a little bit darker, hardly noticeable, so that we can get more of a shadow effect when we add some box shadow. So let's go ahead and give us some space between all these icons so that they're not all touching like that. So we're gonna say margin, let's do margin, let's see. I wanna try 42 pixels. And I think that's good for this space, but I want them a little bit closer here. As you can see our image, they're a little bit closer here, but they have more space in between. And that's fine. So let's go ahead and say 42 pixels for the top space. And let's do the right side. So the right side I want to be maybe half that. So let's try 21 pixels and that's looking much better. Now we're gonna add some padding so that our edges of our icons are not touching and they're not super close to these. So let's get a little bit of padding in there to make it look a little nicer. Uh, so inside of here, let's do, let's see, we need padding probably around our icon images. So I'm gonna do padding And let's just see what maybe like 15 pixels looks like. Okay, pretty good. And I think I want a little bit more padding on the sides, but not on the top or bottom. So over here, I'm gonna say uh, padding. Yeah, let's, we'll keep it 15 pixels for top and bottom. But for the sides, we are going to do a little bit more. Let's try 25 pixels. Yeah, I think that's looking a little bit better. Uh, maybe a little bit more square. Let's try maybe 30, see what that looks like. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. And then I want a little bit more padding underneath my price right there. We'll come down to our price and we'll give it some padding actually. So padding, bottom, let's try five pixels. And I think that's looking a lot more clean that way. So I think I'll keep it right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my little shadows there. So as you can see, you can see these shadows. So we are going to use something that I like. Uh, let me see, so coding, I've got my box shadows right here, okay? So this is a cool place to do box shadows and I'm just going to use my image as reference, and I'm going to create a shadow. So if I just drag this, as you can see, the shadow kind of moves around. Okay, so it sounds like we need it to the right and a little bit down like that. Okay, I think I'll shift it down just a little bit. And the spread, maybe not so much. Okay, and then there's a lot of blur and looks like we just have some blur, maybe about there, and then opacity. We probably want about, probably about there, okay? And that is looking good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and add this code that they came out for me. So I'm just gonna copy that, and I'm just going to head over my code and paste it in for my icon. So here's my icon, I'll paste it. And as you can see, we have this very good looking box shadow right there. Okay, so I think it's time for us to get rid of these borders. It's been very helpful to have that border there. But now it's time to get rid of it. Okay, now it's looking much, much more professional. Um, if you guys ever wanted to, you could, of, of course, make these into links, make them look even better. Uh, but that is how you get those beautiful icons as requested. If you have any questions about your HTML, CSS, or any projects you want me to demonstrate, please let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for sticking around. I'll see you next time.